Hello and welcome to another episode of Scortified Engineering. I'm Spiritus and if you're new to the channel then please consider subscribing so you can stay up to date with all my different projects. Today I did something very weird. I went home from work early and I didn't go home. I went to the garage. So I have some extra time this afternoon to do some work on my Supra. So what we will be doing today is the next step of the brake installation, I would say. Uh, what I have left to do there is to do a refresh of the hubs because I didn't do that 10 years ago when I renovated uh, everything else underneath the car. Uh, so I will need to take that apart, sandblast it, or Sid will do the sandblasting because she likes that and uh, then paint them and uh, reassemble. And a friend replaced my bottle. I paid, of course, but uh, now I also have some more uh, welding gas. Yeah, it's pure argon. So I will be using that when I do the TIG welding. The gas ran out when I was trying out the Chinese uh, welding machine. So not so nice welds uh, and yeah but I need this in order to try the big welding machine so yeah that will happen sometime later now we need to focus on on taking apart more parts uh, so that I have even more to do before I can drive it the next season so yeah I will uh, change clothes and uh, get started. So this is where we're going in. So we need to cover a piece of the car, remove the wheel. So with the wheel off, you have this view. So I want to remove the drive axle, meaning I will have to remove this print, this cover, and then the nut. But I also want to disconnect the drive shaft here from the differential. I need to undo those at the same time and here you can see the small reason why I want to remove the hub or the spindle this is not looking pretty so we have to take care of that So one end of the drive shaft is removed. So this big nut, 32 millimeter socket on an impact wrench. So now we need to loosen the other end, which we will be doing from below.
So both drive axles are uh, all the screws or nuts are undone. And since I had the uh, impact gun, I didn't really bother with using the uh, handbrake and uh, uh, gear. So I will uh, undo the handbrake cable and I think I'm going to pull the entire assembly together with the upper control arm because the nut for undoing this is a bit tricky or actually I will try and see if I can get the uh, drive shafts undone if I can get those then I can uh, take the nut for this uh, spin this joint Timmy the turtle! You are making the other one too, so So while I'm removing mine from the Supra, Timmy the turtle is already ahead of me. So we will soon start to sandblast these and make them pretty. Right? Yes, indeed. Both drive accents are out. Uh, they are working fine, but they don't look very nice. Uh, so these will be renovated. So I will replace the boots in both ends and uh, also the grease inside them. Uh, and this will be like a precaution so that I don't drive around mid-season and uh, they fail so yeah but the good thing now is that with these out i can get the upper spindle nut so i will try and remove the stuff So on the left hand side, uh, the nut holding this joint to the hub is removed. On the arms are uh, disconnected, well, the screws are undone, the nuts are undone. So what we need to do on this side is remove the brake setup. By the way, this is Fuldratech painted um, 14 years ago that's why I'm staying with this type of paint but anyway we will have to remove that and hang it out of the way we need to remove the brake disc and in order to do that we need to go in through this hole and untighten the handbrake then we can get the disc off and then we can disconnect the handbrake wire 
and then we just need to be able to uh, disconnect the stuff here. On the right hand side I still need to remove all the nuts and screws. The impact gun is a bit too weak so I'm doing it first by hand and then by machine. And then of course we have to do the same thing with the brake setup and the handbrake. So let's start with the screws and nuts on this side. And at the same time we are doing a monster experiment. So this one have been in the garage for, well, basically since we started to build all the stuff in the garage. So one and a half year. Um, tastes good. Best before next year in May. So should be fine. But we will see how I feel tomorrow. The one is removed. The right hand side one and as you can see here on the parking brake we have these uh, uh, catching metal pieces that goes in the hole here so I pushed these in with a screwdriver and then was able to pull it out and Toyota made a few things to make things easier so in order to remove this one from here, 
we have this round flat area which you can hit on with the sledgehammer we also have the same thing going on uh, let's see, here down there so for the top one so um, yeah you can also see the bushings which I will be replacing uh, I think this is the one that I have as a polyurethane bushing and this one needs to be bought I don't have it uh, I will also replace the bearing might as well do that while I'm in here and uh, I will uh, sandblast everything paint it and then reassemble but uh, yeah I have some stuff to put away so I don't uh, lose anything these brake discs will not be going back on the car as I have the new ones for the new brake calipers so I need to pick a color for the hubs so we will see what that will end up looking in case any one of you are wondering yes I'm very nervous working so close to my new paint uh, yeah but that's just the risk I have to take so I will do the cleaning and I don't think it will be interesting for you to watch that so I will end this episode here but uh, yeah it feels good uh, doing some proper wrenching again uh, and uh, making a mess etc so um, yeah thank you very much for watching please like and subscribe stay safe take care bye bye